Friends! Phew! I made it! You might be wondering what this is. This is Big Buster Bear Barrington Jr. I won him at the carnival. A carnival is a place with games and rides and food. It's a blast! Our school just had one. Anyway, back to how I got Big Buster Bear Barrington Jr. I might just call him B4 for short. B4 Jr., that is. So there I was, beginning my carnival adventure. And it was like one game beckoned me to come near. It seemed so easy. All I had to do was swing a hammer and hit a target as hard as I could. Then a little ball would shoot up a tube carried by the power of my hammer hit. How high? Well, that depended on just how hard I hit the target. But if the ball hit the bell at the top, I would win B4, Junior. I summoned all the strength within my Cali muscles. I called on the thunder and the lightning to help me. And then I swung, but came up short. My parents only gave me $4 to play games, and each turn was $1. What was I to do? I tried again. A little closer, but still short. I tried again. Even closer, but still short. I had $1 left. This was it. B4 Jr. stood before me, practically begging me to hit the bell and take him home. I felt a power come over me that was more than my own. I swung. Ding! The bell rang. Victory! OK, I wasn't exactly a superhero, but the guy running the game let my dad swing with me the last time. But I still came home with Big Buster Bear Barrington Jr. Now that I think about it, when my dad was behind me, helping me swing, I felt powerful. It would be cool to feel like that all the time. Do you think maybe our Bible story for today will tell us something about power? It's time for today's Bible story and it comes from the book of Acts chapter 1. Before Jesus had gone up to heaven to be with God, he came to visit his friends. He did this so that they would be sure that he was alive. On one of those visits, Jesus was eating with his friends. He told them to stay put until they received the gift that God had promised. The gift was the Holy Spirit. Jesus' friends were still sad and confused about the fact that Jesus couldn't stay with them. They thought that since Jesus was alive again, they can go and save the world together, like real superheroes. They would be powerful if Jesus was with them, but without him, they felt powerless. But Jesus told them not to worry. He said, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes to you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem and in all of Judea and Samaria and the ends of the earth. The Holy Spirit would give them power, not superpowers or anything, but power to do the things that Jesus taught them to do. To tell other people about God, to help people who were sick or hungry, to be brave when people didn't listen to them. After Jesus told them this, he left in a cloud. His friends were looking up for him when two angels showed up and asked them what they were looking for. They told them that Jesus would be back to be with them one day, but for now, they had everything they needed to tell the world about Jesus, because no one is powerless when we have the Holy Spirit. What an amazing story! And what an awesome gift is the Holy Spirit! I bet when Jesus left, his friends felt kinda like me without my dad helping me play the carnival game. But when Jesus gave them the Holy Spirit, that would be like me carrying around my dad's hammer, swinging power to help me no matter where I go and what I'm doing. That's awesome! Think how many B4 Juniors I could win. Okay, I know the power of the Holy Spirit isn't for winning carnival games. It's to help me grow close to God. And it's also for helping others. I think I'm going to start by reminding everyone that no one is powerless when we have the Holy Spirit. Do you guys want to join me in singing our theme song? Great! Long ago when Jesus came He said follow me and show the way Just 